cannibalism thing. To the, yeah. to the point, um, happiness. So I learned this. So the, the four areas that I specialize, specialized in when I studied psychology were neuroscience, positive psychology, psychological disorders, and sleep science. Um, and, you know, psychology is broad, very broad. Um, and there are so many different modules. Um, and, I, and I would encourage everyone to get a basic psychological book and find a module that they love and go deep on it. Um, and that's what I did. And positive psychology and neuroscience intertwined. Um, you can learn a lot. But happiness. So in life, and this is academic teachings, and I've now lived it, so I've studied it academically. I've lived it experientially. And, and I, I would... I would um, encourage someone to try and tell me otherwise. Um, the hedonic life, so there's different terms that they give it. So there's raw sense pleasures, there's the hedonic life, the Hollywood life, uh, the hamster wheel life. Um, I mean, when you go on it, it's hard to go off. Um, but let's just say the Hollywood life, right? A life of good cheer, um, smiliness, uh, raw sense pleasures. So like, it's kind of fleeting. Meaning, yep. like, if we had a bar of chocolate, we all ate a bar of chocolate if we had a glass of wine like, right now, we'd, we'd feel it for a period, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. Um, those things, I'm not saying those raw sense pleasures like coffee, what would be examples? Coffee, even masturbation. Like, <laughs> masturbation's a raw sense pleasure. Yeah. Sex, gambling, uh, gaming, uh, as I said, a good cigar, a nice glass of wine, a, a beer or whatever. Oh, yeah, or what, yeah, the different yeah. things like this. Yeah. There's other examples and I'm not judging them. I'm just saying they're fleeting. Yeah. But that's how most of society is fulfilling their happiness quota okay. today. Mm -hmm. And that's unfortunate because those things are fleeting. Eight, and 80%, I think. Yeah, about 80% of like that, society yeah. are fulfilling uh, their happiness qu quota through those means. Yeah. And that's not sustainable. And when you're talking, you're having a discussion about happiness, you want to be talking more about sustainable and sustainable and fulfilling. Yeah. But there's two other forms of happiness that less of society know about. And it's like you mentioned, Barry, it's the engaged life and then the meaningful life. And the cool thing about those is that there's formulas to achieve them, predictable, patterned formulas to achieve them. So to live the engaged life, it, it it takes a while, but it's possible. So to live the engaged life, it's about knowing your highest strengths and engaging with those daily. And to live the meaningful, I'll tap into this a bit further in just a moment. Mm -hmm. And to live a meaningful life, it's about knowing your highest strengths, engaging with those daily, but in service of something greater than you. 